you guys to paint and play here. Um, part of my mess on my table here, but uh, I think today I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to paint assault marines. Uh, so basically so far, these marines right here had were a whole bunch of marines from a whole different bunch of sets. Um, I think they're actually from different generations too, so... Um, anyways, I, uh, I bought them off of eBay. Um, I stripped them, I scrubbed them, I cleaned them up, all that kind of good stuff. And uh, basically the only thing you've missed is I base coated them with like a uh, sunshine-ish type yellow. Um, it was almost like a golden yellow uh, type spray paint so that I didn't have to work as hard on getting that yellow to the proper color. Um, but yeah, so basically I got that yellow on there. And then I went ahead and gave them a sepia wash. Uh, it's one of, it's a seraphim sepia. So if you guys want to use that shade on models, but as you can tell, they're a little bit, some of them are darker than others. Um, I think it's just kind of how the shade went on, but it's no big deal. Um, I don't expect my Marines to be perfect. Uh, there's, you know, almost 50 or 60 of them. So I'm not going to murder myself trying to paint everyone to perfect detail, so I just wanted to be tabletop quality. So anyways, long story short, um, <clears throat> that's all you guys have missed. So I'm going to do that really quick, and then I'm also, as I showed you in a video before, and uh, I'll put the link in the description below, um, I also showed you guys how to put these all on here, or at least just talked about you know, putting them on here, keeping them alternated, stuff like that, so that you guys can um, give them a quick base coat without having to stress too much about that. So anyway, so I'm going to run outside, give these a quick base coat, let them dry, and then we'll paint these yellow and then go ahead and get started on those guys. All right, guys. So I went ahead and primed all the Space Marine backpacks. Um, I think I'm pretty nifty right about now after all this. Um, but basically, I'm going to start on these guys next. Um, but really, the only colors you're really going to need for this whole project, and like I said again, please pardon my table, I haven't really cleaned it up after the last project that I started, but I was just getting started on this. Um, so pretty much once the yellow is done, that almost like kind of sunset golden yellow, um, and then it's shaded, I'm really just going to use yellow, yellow to brighten them back up. Um, Metaphiston red for here. Let me get a better light on here. Metaphiston red uh, for any of the red, like their chest pieces or their shoulder pauldrons. Black for any of the soft armor parts. Lead belcher, obviously, for any of the guns. Uh, sepia shade um, that will be on the assault marine backpacks. Um, I've already sepia shaded all those guys over there, so that's already taken care of. And then null oil I'll use on the gun. Um, the metaphiston I'll also use on the red as well. So oh, I'll also use on the red. Sorry, I'll also use on the eyes as well. So anyways, guys, so I will get back to you whenever I'm kind of caught up with it. All right, guys. So here we are. Um, we're going to paint some assault. Marines, pardon me, I'm kind of messing with the camera and stuff like that, kind of all at the same time. But uh, basically, I had already gone over all the colors with you. So, um, yeah, I think we're just going to start with a basic guy. Uh, this guy is kind of dark all over, so I think he'd be a good start. Um, now, mind you, some of them have like Blood Raven and stuff like that. <laughs> symbols but that's not that big of a deal so anyway so I'm gonna start with um, my Euro yellow first I'm gonna go ahead and thin it down probably a one-to-one -one mixture um, don't forget especially with yellows don't forget to do this Because if you don't, it's going to come out real streaky and globby on the model. So. 
Yeah. So I figured we'd just kind of get started. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the first layer here. I'm trying to leave a little bit of space in between where that red is going to go and the, and the yellow there. So that way the darker colors kind of show up a little bit too. So. And I apologize if you hear any background noise. My neighbor plays Call of Duty and screams at the top of his lungs. Looks like a 12 year old child whenever he starts losing. So this is after the uh, first layer of yellow there. He was obviously much brighter. I'm zooming up there. Sorry, that wasn't there. Uh, there we go. So yeah, I mean, you know, it could be worse. Most definitely. But uh, yeah. Zoom in. Zoom in. Come on, autofocus. Not on my hand. There we are. So as you can see. Definitely a lot more bright. Um, the gun is the original color, so you can kind of see that there. So we'll hit him with the second layer here in a minute. Alright, guys, now that he's had a minute or two to dry, uh, we're going to go ahead and start on that second layer. I already went ahead and made another one to one yellow um, and I'll just kind of paint all the parts that I painted in the same fashion here so make sure you keep your paints plenty thin um, I know I'm gonna get some critics on here they're gonna say they're not thin enough but you can never make anybody happy so Goodness gracious. So there we are, guys. Um, that's the second layer of yellow there. All of them are nice and pretty, relatively clean for the most part. So, yeah, I'll uh, touch them up and then get back with you guys. Alright, guys, that model's had some time to dry. Um, and so next up, we're going to use this metal piston right here. Um, so mine's a little dry out, so it needs the water mixture on it. It's a little weird, but normally I just do a one-to-one -one on this stuff. Um, and it all kind of depends on how it all turns out for you. Yeah, this came out really watery. So, uh, but normally do a one-to-one. -one. You should be fine. So like I said, mine's 
just about gone, so it's a little messed up. But yeah, so let me get this brush cleaned off a little bit. So basically, what we're gonna hit here with this is the shoulder pauldrons, like along the edge lining, uh, the eyes, and the little chest piece. And the reason that I do red before I do the gun because if you get red on the gun, you can paint over it with that silver and it'll cover it much better than if you were to do the red later and get it all over the silver and then you'd be all frustrated. Oop, darn it. Oop. Yeah, I'll fix it later. So just a little bit of that chest piece is sticking out there, so I'll just paint that Real quick, but other than that, I'm not too terribly worried about it. So far, I think I can just redo that again. Yep. So there we are so far, guys. Pretty sick here. The shoulder pauldrons are done. Chest piece is done. So, and like I said, I'll clean them up as we go along so it's not as terrible. Alright guys, for now we're going to let that model sit aside and dry. We're actually not going to paint the whole gun quite yet. Uh, we'll get to that in a little bit. Uh, next up we're going to do uh, the backpack here. So basically what I've done is I've got a brush tip protector and I've tacked the backpack to it as you can see there on the bottom. Um, and I did it in an area where I'm going to end up gluing the model so that I don't have any issues with the glue getting in or the paint getting in the way of the glue. Uh, so basically with this, we're going to do a one-to-one -one mixture of Aberlin Sunset, and I forgot to mention this color to you guys earlier, but this is typically what I use, this Aberlin right here, whenever I do the base color for the Marines if I don't spray paint them yellow beforehand. So it's kind of like a poopy yellow color. And don't mind me doing this third one. This is another one of those where the paint's just about out. So I'm getting mostly liquid whenever I do. So yeah, so do a one-to-one -one on that whenever you go to do it. Just going to paint off this brush here. There's all your Ireland or Sunset on there. Let's see there. So there's all your Adelander. And I'm going to leave the gray parts that are there. I'm going to paint silver. So. 
I'll keep on work, working on it. Uh, real quick, we're going to come back to this here. Uh, go to the jello. Just do another one to one. Sorry, just. Alright guys, that's it after it's first period of yellow. We'll give it a couple of minutes to dry and we'll be right back. Alright guys, that has had a couple of minutes to dry. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and put on one quick layer, more one more quick layer of your yo yellow. Second brush on of Ariel, nice and bright, right? Um, so what I'm gonna do next, um, and I actually might do it a tiny bit on the uh, actual marine itself to kind of darken it back up just a tiny bit in the crack. I'm gonna use a sepia shade, uh, and I'll start with the marine first, and I'll come back to the backpack so it has a minute to dry. Uh, but basically, the shade is going to darken up any of the recesses. So just need a little bit of help popping out. So uh, there's something called line shading. And basically all you do is you go around the miniature. And you basically just put little bitty drops of the shade the areas that need shade and that's it you don't do the rest of the model Let's see, why is it there? Come on. See how some of those little cracks and crevices got filled in, and now they're a little bit darker, like around the knee pads and whatnot, the fingers. So, it helps. It's not perfect, but it looks better than it was. Alright, so. Let's hit the backpack real fast. 
And this one's a lot better because you can actually see uh, the lines and stuff on it. Obviously not as well because my camera's a piece of poop, but whatever. So they're they're much more visible now. They're very very defined. So that's that on that. This little spot with the aerial down here. Uh, probably next we're going to go ahead and work on uh, like the bolt gun. The, well, you know what? Actually, I lied. We're going to hit the the little leg um, and arm spots. Ooh, oops, a little too much there. And this I just I lay it on a little thicker because I don't think it matters because you can't really see the detail that much. Anyhow. This is a little dark spot. There you go. Yeah. Turn around here so you can see back there real fast. So that's that on that. Um, another thing that I personally like to do is, like on my jets, or like a gun tip or something like that, I like to just stipple on a little bit of engine wash. Uh, you want kind of like a tarred look to Uh, the engine because not all engines shoot out perfectly white, you know, or perfectly clear fumes or exhaust or whatever. And they're going to get hot, so the metal is going to get burnt. So just go around these edges here. So now that we have those edges, let that dry a little bit. Uh, we're going to bust out our red belcher real fast. This is another one. Run low. So I'm just doing a quick one to one. So I got to play with it a tiny bit because the paint's kind of messed up. So just do one-to-one. -one. I always do about 90% of my paints one-to-one, -one, unless I'm trying to get like a shaded effect or just like a very, very, very super light layer.
pack. And all those areas we're going to paint silver. There's the backpack all silvered up, even though you can't see a damn thing. It's because I don't have enough light. Alright, here's our space marine. Oh, I realize there's not enough light on this photo. I'll just run the light, my bad. No, you guys are welcome for that. So, we're pretty much almost complete. Um, I'm going to do a few special things to this. I'm going to use uh, the Xbox Flash. Um, just to get that purity seal real fast. Gives it kind of a gray, tingy color. Almost like parchment would be, but whatever. Got that on there. Um, and I'm also going to use. These three blues, and they're the three blues that I used on my Tyranids to give it kind of a glow effect on the backpack itself. So basically, I mean, you're just going to need tiny, tiny dots of this. There's that dark blue with the lighter blue up in there. You guys can kind of get an idea of what I'm talking about there. And you know what? It's okay if the blues mix because it'll give it a little bit more of a natural fire. going to be the jet pack there. So it'll be kind of a, a little like that. Alright. 
right, so now that that's done, we can honestly take this model and shade. Silver bits. And remember, you don't need a whole lot to do this. It's just a darken it up. Try not to get it on your yellow. Clean up any splotches that you have. And then another thing that you're going to do. You actually are going to get it on yellow, I'm sorry. So you're going to go back over that area where you stippled that black on just to kind of give it a little bit dirtier of an effect. See how it turns out like that nasty grizzled look to it with the blue in the back. Uh -oh. This won't turn out too terrible. Yeah. I'm gonna hit this bolt real fast. Don't forget, don't, you know, be afraid to be a little bit aggressive on the bolters because there's a lot of surface area on these. So they can soak up some paint for sure. Go back and hit those. Just to bring it up a little, just to darken it just a tiny bit more. There you go. So. There'd be your marine. So, all in all, it didn't turn out too bad. A little messy. There's some spots that need to be touched up. Um, once I get, you know, some more brown, I can uh, touch up the up the uh, up the belt pack and stuff like that. So. Yeah, it's not bad at all. So that's how you paint a Imperial Fist Assault Marine. Okay.